everyone. Uh, today I've got really, quite, well, it's quite a revolutionary uh, product that I'm showing you, and I'm surprised I haven't been able to find this anywhere else. Nightcore contacted me and asked me if I'd be interested to have a look at a new light that they put out that also included a power bank. And this is what's really interesting about this product. Uh, and it really is quite exciting. So this is the product itself. Uh, it's just called the uh, SCL10. Uh, and I'll take you through exactly what this does. But let me switch to um, the page and I'll sort of tell you a little bit about what this does. So it is a um, bicolor light as well as having a power bank built in, which is a 10,000 mAh battery. Uh, the color temperature goes from 2,500 Kelvin to 6,000. 300 Kelvin so that's very usable for most scenarios if you're dealing with uh, warm light or uh, you know getting to your white or cool lighting um, if we look down I'll just show you through here uh, the, it does come with a couple of attachments that I'll show you in a minute that you can attach it onto your camera as you're seeing over here uh, it just to tell you a little bit about the light itself it's a 96 uh, high CRI LEDs. It's 2,500 Kelvin to 6,300 Kelvin, uh, customizable in temperature. Uh, it goes from 5% to 100% adjustable brightness output, and it has a built-in 10,000 mAh uh, battery. Uh, it will run, and this is the amazing part about this, it will run for 70 hours maximum run time. That's if you're using it at 5%. But if you charge it to running at 100%, you get around about three and a half hours of full-time usage, which is incredible for a light that's around 12 watts uh, or 800 lumens. Uh, that you're dealing with through here. Uh, so it does say it's 800 lumens. Uh, like I said, you can run it from 2500 up to 6300 uh, Kelvin. Uh, and the luminance is down here, Luxes. To give you an idea how this runs in real life scenarios, because sometimes luminance uh, is and Luxes is just too hard to understand for us. So I used my light meter to test this uh, and I had it at 1 25th of a second, ISO 200, and that gave me 1.8 at one meter roughly away from the subject. So that gives you an idea about the light intensity that you're dealing with from here, which is, uh, like I said, which is really very good for what it is. Like I said, you get 70 hours run time, uh, but that's if you're dealing with 5% usage. Uh, and it will give you roughly three and a half hours at 100% output. Now, the amazing part about this though, and I'll show you some other examples of this shortly, is that it's also a power bank. This is the brilliant thing about this. It has a 10,000 mAh uh, LiPro battery, uh, and it can charge smartphone, tablets, and other USB uh, devices like cameras, and that's what I'll be using it to uh, charge my camera. Uh, and sometimes I, I will use it to charge my iPhone and even use it for lighting and that regard. Very simple to operate. I'll show you this working. Uh, there's only really uh, a power mode. Uh, the input output is here which is USB-C and there's also an output there which is USB-A. Uh, nice little solid um, uh, real-time display here that you can sort of see working through here. Uh, it gives you your um, time remaining battery indicator, uh, etc. Uh, it'll even give you your USB input output power, which is showing there at 1.4. Um, it can be used as a power bank, and when you do that, it actually shows you the power level and also what the output power is in watts as well. Uh, and it also shows you over here the amount being charged, which is 7.8 and 86% gives you that as well. Um, it, it's a really amazing device. Uh, technical data, just quickly, I'll just go through this um, as well. Uh, the color temperature, like I said, is 2500 to 63 Kelvin. It's rated at 96 for your CRI. Uh, it's 12 watts in power, uh, that's 800 lumens, uh, etc. And there's just some other features there that I'll leave this link down below so that you can have a, a look at it as well. So what we'll do now is we'll unbox it and I'll show you what's in the box. Uh, and then after that, we'll also look at how to operate it. Okay, so inside the actual uh, box here is just a couple of things really. You've just got the light itself uh, that you can see here. And then you've also got uh, a connector that you can connect it to your camera. Uh, this is quite good for your cold shoe that you can use for that. And then you just get a USB leads. Now, if you want the manual, you download that off their website. So now let's look at how you operate this device. So on the side, there's just the power button that I press, which will turn it on. 
Uh, now, at the moment, it's very simple to control because there's only really uh, two controls, which is your intensity and your Kelvin. Uh, at the moment, it's showing the battery indicator there is showing that I've got three hours and 27 minutes uh, there to use this on full power, which is incredible because this is 12 watts of power. Uh, and it's got three and a half hours uh, of charge there that I could use. Now, if you want to adjust the intensity, all you do is there's a plus or minus over here. Uh, you just press on to that, which it will go down. Now you'll see it'll go down to, to 5%. That's the lowest it will go. So it doesn't turn off, but it gives you 5%. And if I press the plus, it will go up to 100%. Now, if I then want to change the Kelvin, all I do is I hit the uh, mode button again, and it will go down to the temperature. At the moment, it's on 6,300 uh, Kelvin, so that's it nice and warm, or nice and blue, I should say. Uh, if I click on the minus, it will go down to 2,500 Kelvin, which is very, very warm. So you can match your incandescent light as well as your nice white or blue light. Uh, you've got a lot of control as well. Now, the buttons underneath do glow as well, so you can see them if you're dealing with the dark, knowing what to press uh, to put your leads into, which is also very handy as well. So the unit itself is really quite a nice size, as you can see here, uh, to get an idea about the size. Um, if we look on the back, it's a nice uh, metallic uh, feel to it. I think it's aluminium that it's made of. Uh, it feels really nice. It feels like a nice high-end uh, product. Uh, on the top here, you've only just got a couple of controls that you can control it from for your plus and minus for your controls. On the other side here, you've just got your input output and also your on off and your mode switch. Uh, so it's very, very simple uh, to operate. So let me first show you the sort of power that you're dealing with here. Uh, if I turn this uh, unit on, now at the moment it's on 5%. So you'll sort of get an idea here that this is on 5% uh, in its usage. If I bring this power up, like it's incredibly bright, let me take that down again. Uh, if I wanted to, well, that is certainly bright. Uh, if I wanted to change the color of this, let me just change this at the back so that it's on Kelvin, uh, and then I'll change the color through here. So you see that's very cold, uh, and obviously if I come down to the other end, it will be very, very uh, warm. Uh, so that's how you change that. Like It's very, very simple how you, you operate this. There's not really that much uh, involved at all. Um, let me turn this off. Now I'll show you how you can also use this on your camera. So it comes with this little uh, device here, which is like a cold shoe mount, uh, and there's a little screw on the bottom. Now you could mount that directly onto a light stand or something else, uh, but it fits beautifully when you attach this little uh, attachment onto the bottom of the light that you can see here. Uh, and it comes, comes with this cold shoe mount. Now the great part about this is that then, you could just stick this on your camera cage or whatever you were going to use it on and then you've got that already set up uh, on your camera ready to go. Uh, you could face it around if you wanted to face it the other way or whichever way you wanted to go, which is really nice. So what I can do now is use it as a power device as well as using it as a light. So if I stick it into the back of the device here and then stick it into the camera, immediately the unit turns on. Uh, and I'll show you that here. So it's showing now that it's on 93%. Then the, if I turn the camera on, it actually shows that the device is being used, uh, it's plugged in. So it will be running now off USB power, charging the battery. Uh, I can also turn the unit on, the light on as well. Uh, so if I switch that, so now this is using it as a USB device to charge my camera as well as using the LED light at the same time, uh, which is brilliant. And if you're looking at it, um, the, the thing with this is as well is that this is rated around about probably three of these batteries. Uh, I'll have to do some testing to see how long it will last, particularly if you had the light on, uh, then it would obviously vary depending on the power that you're running and everything else. But if you didn't have it on and you just wanted to keep your camera charged, it will probably last around about three of these normal batteries. I think that's how the, the charge works. Some more tech people might be able to fill me in once they look at the document to see what the power rating will be. But what a brilliant, idea. Like I said, I've never seen anything like this before that um, sort of gives you 
a power bank as well as a light built into something like this. And I think this is brilliant uh, from uh, Nightcore. Um, so if you're interested in this, like I said, I'll leave the details down below. Uh, I'm not certain if this is even available yet to purchase yet, but you could contact uh, Nightcore and it should be available soon. Uh, let me know if you have any comments, leave them down below uh, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye for now.